What's up, YouTube? Eugene here, and I'm joined by Maria. Today, we're going to be looking at the 10 greatest Guerlains that everybody should smell at least once. And we're going to have Maria's impressions of them. You're very familiar with a lot of these. Okay. You probably haven't smelt them in a while, but I'm going to spray them on. I'll give kind of a description or, or you know, my impression of them, and then you can you can you can follow through and, and let us know what you think of these. So okay. you, 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 we've done kind of Guerlain, um, the 10 days of Guerlain videos a few years back. Mm. So a lot of people might recognize you from them, but it's gonna be just kind of a continuation of that. So these are, you know, the classic Guerlains, the heritage Guerlains, what the brand is known and famous for. Some of the greatest perfumes ever made are right here. Um, unfortunately, Guerlain isn't the same anymore, but that's a completely different story that we've talked about many times here on this channel, if you want to get into it. So let's, we're just going to kind of go in this uh, historical order and we'll go with Jiki. This is actually the first um, consumer perfume being like ever created. And this is a fougere. So this is lavender and vanilla. This is what was made for women back then. So it has a very classic structure to it. I like it. I mean, I used to be completely disgusted by lavender. Right. I know I didn't like it before, but I actually don't mind this. I think this is something that you would have hated two or three years ago. Yeah. Because it does have some civet, so cat, yeah. cat glands, um, leather. It's, it smells, is there any other kind of flower in here? Cause it I'm doesn't... sure it has the Guerlainade. Um, if it does, they're very abstract. So okay. it probably has violet and carnation and rose. Yeah, I mean, it does It does have that animal kind of smell to it. Right. I personally myself wouldn't want to wear this, but I don't mind it. It's not the worst. This back then was released for women. Um, okay. I think now it's, it's more considered unisex. unisex? Yeah. It has a soapy smell to it. It's very lemony, lavendery. It's got this abrasiveness to it, mm -hmm. but you know some spices. Uh, to me, it's actually you know as dirty as it is. I I consider yeah. it a clean fragrance. I wear it, and to me, it's uh, you know it's uplifting and really? fresh. Yeah. Okay. When I wear it during the day, it definitely changes quite a bit, but I think it's absolutely beautiful. It's pretty strong for me. Yeah. I, it, it, yeah. It's not. Not something that you would wear? Not. Okay. No, what, no. Can you appreciate the artistry? I mean, I do I do like the fact that um, there is lavender in it. I do have an appreciation. There's that one perfume I, I wear that you gave me. Um, uh, Lavandon Trianon or something by Lancome. Yeah, I do like that I smell. I can stand that. It's but, just so sweet and sugary. Okay, so maybe that's what it is. It's not as flowery as this one is. Okay, so here's the second one. And this is one of my absolute favorites. This is Lure Bleu. And Lure Bleu means um, the blue hour. So it's that, that reference of, you know, the sun's going down and it's not day and it's not exactly nighttime either. So this, this is, yeah. go ahead. This definitely has some animal. It probably would have like more it. concentrated civet back in the day yeah. and it's been toned down. But yeah, you still get that sense of um, animalics. I get a lot of uh, florals, powders yeah. to it. Yeah. Um, cosmetics, creams. Yeah, it reminds me of like a cream. Like right. A, a, yeah. Some like spices. A... I'm getting anise. I'm getting violet just off the top. I'm not as good it's, as you it, as it, pulling out notes, but it's quite powdery this, as well. I mean, there is the powder in it, but I find that it's a very strong smell. This is very strong. Right. It's definitely not subtle. Do you like it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Which is fine. No. Totally. Okay. I I I personally would not wear this. It does remind me of the overpowering face creams that you can buy from like cosmetic or boutiques. That's the one reason why I hate buying them is they have too much perfume, it, I feel like, in it. So for me, this is very, it reminds me of that. I love this. This to me is very moody and abstract and it kind of takes me away from, like, away. it just takes me into thought, you know, deep thought. 
and it has this like kind of this ghostly feel to it mm. you know what i mean yeah 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 like it's like staring at a painting on the wall and trying to figure out what it is exactly that you're looking at mm -hmm. you know you're looking at the textures and the 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 Maybe just the, the transitions and stuff like that you're trying to look past what it is you see on on, on on the frame of reference and look into the painting mm -hmm. you know that's how i feel when i wear this not my favorite no, no i wouldn't imagine it's not for everybody okay so the next is this is mitsuko and this is the story of a love affair mm. a love affair <laughs> gerlon gerlon there you go oh i do like this you do yeah i mean it is it's a very it's very strong there's it's very green and mossy but yeah it reminds it has it reminds me of earth right That's it's very earthy to... leathery it has a very nice peach note do you smell peach or spices i anise? smell spices but not right. necessarily peach but it's very warm and enveloping. I like this. I like, it's one of nice. my absolute favorites. I mean, I'm gonna say that for all of these, really. <laughs> They're all your favorites. No, I like this. I mean, the initial note was very strong, but now it's it's calmed down quite a bit. So okay. it's not as like overpowering as some of those other ones. Okay. And I can smell fruit more now. Yeah, the, it's got a really nice peach note in there. Yeah, I like this. I like this. Peach, anise, and moss, I can see... leather. You know, there's probably a nice floral accord. I could see this being uh, unisex for sure. Absolutely. All of these are unisex. Don't let genders, uh, you know... Um, yeah, I like that. Convince you. And I know you know what this is because you have a bottle. This is Shelly Mar. I like this one. Okay. I wear this a lot. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, um, not in the summertime. Right. It's this to me is like a fall winter. You have the other oh, parfum concentration. This is the other oh, toilet, so it's a little bit lighter, not a whole lot. I just smell luxury. That's what I when I think of this, I think of like a very powerful, wealthy lady. I know that this might be unisex, but right. that's kind of what I envision. Right. And I find that I wear this typically when I have to do a lot of work for my business in terms of like, this gets me in the zone of like harnessing this like powerful- Some energy. Woman, yeah, no right. joke. Like um, that's kind of, I guess, you know, I mean, you are more descriptive with these. And for me, I really touch into uh, feeling. And I tie imagery typically to... So you see visuals. I, I, visual, I, I see a visual aspect of the, like a, the smell. Yeah, like a woman wearing a mink coat or something. Right, yeah. I just just see this like... Boss. Like a faux mink, of, obviously, right? Not real uh, I mean, I'm, animal. I'm indifferent. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I just see this, you know, confident, powerful woman, very right. assertive, knows what it is that she wants, knows what it is she has to do. So this is my, this is my work perfume. Yeah, and you wear it well, you know, you've, you've worn like it throughout this. the years. And when you wore it, like I felt like I didn't have to wear it. I can wear something else and yeah. still enjoy Shelly Mar smelling it off you. But And everyone likes this. I mean, when I wear this pre pandemic when people were kind of able to get closer to one another you know i would get compliments from male and females like what is it that you're wearing do you see any certain color when you wear this i see and maybe it's just because of the imagery that i have in my head i see like tan and navy blue for whatever oh. reason oh well that could be because of the bottle the bottle's got a blue cap and it could be, yeah, it could be. But to me, I see uh, lots of gold, especially yeah. when the dry down. It's this rich uh, uh, hue of, of golden resins and powders and, you know, the patchouli. Um, it's got a, a nice pop of, like, Shalimar, Shalimar has always been about bergamot and vanilla to me mm -hmm. with that leather in the base, but it's got that really nice powdery golden hue that I see. I always see this rich golden color. Mm-hmm. It's a nice one. When I wear Shelly Mar. This one's nice. I would recommend it. Okay. 
let's move on. And this is Vol de Nuit, and that means night flight. So the inspiration of this was a book of a guy flying during the night who crashed his Cessna. And I don't think you've smelt this before. Definitely not. Oh, I do not like this. I absolutely <laughs> love it. And what I get in the top is a huge blast of floral accords that are constantly changing and evolving. And it's like, you know, sh pushing one flower out and introducing another. This is definitely not for me. <laughs> what don't you like about it? It's, I find this very offensive. <laughs> really? Yeah. It. Because you had just a strong visceral reaction uh, from this more than the others. I do not like this. But, I mean, as you know, I'm not huge on florals. Anything that has tuberose in it makes me instantly sick. I don't know if that's in it. But... Yeah, most likely. But this to me is very green. Yeah, I'm I see not... green, like very much green. And I see fruits, like I, I taste or feel fruits. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. But most of all is is the, the cosmetic support to this is glorious. I love how powdery this gets on me. Not a fan. I can't tell you what it is, but I if I had to guess, I think it's whatever flowers are in there. I think there. it's narcissus. Interesting. Narcissus, uh, florals, galbanum. It's very green. Uh, there's probably, you know, rose, jasmine, iris, but I think it's galbanum mostly. All the things that I don't like. Right. <laughs> so that, I mean, if you like florals, this, you would probably enjoy it. I'm not a huge... Love, love, right. love Voldenui. Love, love it. Next, this is shamad for women. There's a men's and a women's. So shamad is also another floral accord oh, this is very aldehydic and no, it's not unlike oh. um vol de Nui. maybe a little bit fresher citrusier it's got this sparkling top you know what this you, this remind me of what's that this reminded me of uh when i was younger my grandfather had a garden and it had a bunch of just like i'm sure weeds but also like uh, vegetables that would grow right earthy and like um like a rhubarb for example but what it reminds me is when we were pulling kind of the roots out and when you break the stem there's this like Root? sappiness that comes out of it it smells like poisonous to okay me. yeah this like is very kind of, veiny this is kind of reminds me in the beginning like in the beginning notes and then it dries down and now I feel like it has more of a powdery scent to it. But initial, it reminds me of that, that this is very sap green, that comes yeah. out of green plants. It's, it's very aldehydic Greens. and floral. It's definitely very floral. But it's not as um, strong as some of those other ones. As Voldenui? Yeah. Okay. So next we're gonna move on to, and this is Samsara, and this is sandalwood based. So it's got a lot of uh, florals in it as well. And I gotta spray these far away because um, Irina from the Guerlain Boutique watched your first video when you were doing the absolutes, the Orient, and you were like, oh, these are just way, so it's way too Choking strong. You. And Irina's like, Oh my God, Eugene, I watched your video and you're just spraying on too much perfume. No wonder she didn't like him. You gotta, you know, you gotta miss it. You gotta <laughs> spread it farther away. So yeah, that, that was her advice, but okay. here you go. So it's a very- I actually like this. It's got a, a, a floral top, you know, again, that Guerlainite, rose, jasmine, wood. iris, vanilla. But yeah, it's got that very creamy, milky wood in the base. I do like this. It's a very beautiful. This definitely reminds me of Earth. Yeah, it's got some earthiness, but I think it's one of the greatest. Um, I, I I like this a sandalwood lot. decords, and I think this is when they were still using real uh, Mysore sandalwood, not the uh, synthetic stuff they're mm. using today, or the cheaper versions. Yeah, I actually I don't mind this. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. 
Okay. I would wear it. That's interesting. This is one I thought you would probably like the least. Really? I think because the woodiness comes out more for me. I can smell that a bit Yeah, more. it's got a really nice creamy woods accord. Okay. We're going to get into some masculines here. This is Habit Rouge Eau de Toilette, which is my favorite concentration from the ones today. I find the um, Eau de Parfum a little bit too stuffy. This is more fresh and uh, palatable. It's spicy. Yeah, it spicy. It has like, it has definite some some spice to it. It's got a very Eau de Cologne fresh top to yeah. it. Yeah. Right, and it takes, you know, it takes uh, bits and pieces from Shalimar. It's mm -hmm. got that bergamot and vanilla base and also uh, some leather. I don't mind this. It's got a nice fresh sparkle right in the top, right? This reminds me of like a barber shop, like a clean yeah, cut. Yeah, yeah. So fougere, you would call it like a barber shop fougere. Does it smell like shaving foam or shaving cream? No, it doesn't, but it's more of like just that freshness. Right, it's got a very nice, like a rosy top, a geranium, a sparkling aldehydic geranium rosy top. Whatever he said. I like it. Yeah? Yeah, I like it. Okay, that's good. I'm yeah, glad to hear that. I like that. it. I didn't know if you would, because a lot of people would say this smells outdated. This smells old fashioned. It reminds, I, I what would do you have think? to agree with that. When right. I think of this, I think of like my dad. Or like well, it definitely my doesn't. Uncle wearing this. Yeah. yeah it definitely sure. doesn't smell like anything that's being released today, like modern stuff. So, mm -hmm. you know, when you're using the word outdated, yeah, compared to today's standards, it's outdated. But to, but to me, this is timeless. Yeah. This is a, as outdated as an emotion. You know, emotions aren't outdated. This is just classic. It's just got a classic structure mm -hmm. to it. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. I see more of, like, when I put an image to it I just see more of a mature yeah like a grown gentleman that. sophisticated yeah. gentleman for sure very nice it's fresh I it's like it. woody it's clean and this is Guerlain vetiver this is mm. gonna be green isn't it oh man it smells like a nail polish remover oh come on no, seriously. Really? Yeah. Okay, the let initial, it dry down. The initial spray. Right. I was like, oh, it smells like my nail polish. We remember. can't be friends. Sorry. I'm sorry my perfume offended you. But I know you like this a lot because you've complimented me on wearing it many times. Yeah, it's You'd be much like, oh, better. whatever you're wearing, I really like it. And I'm not used to you saying that. I'm more used to, Eugene, whatever you're wearing, go wash it off because it's offensive. <laughs> but you've really liked this one. And, you know, the amount yeah. of times that you've said it has stuck out yeah, in I, my memory. I mean, it's dried down. I don't mind the smell. So it's very clean and crisp, yeah, fresh citrus, it is. Yeah, it vetiver, is woods. Uh, any harshness from it comes from that dry tobacco, green, mm, fresh, I smell, yeah. dry tobacco. I like this. I think it's probably one of the greatest perfumes ever created, yeah, yeah. abstractly, even though I it challenges me to the point where I don't always want to reach for it, but I think it's just classic masculine. It's got that beautiful masculine structure to it. Yeah, I mean, I, I like it. It does have that hint of like freshness, but almost as if like a, like a gentleman were to s smoke a cigarette. Yeah, you know uh, yeah, I mean? yeah, and yeah, then kind absolutely. of air himself out so that you can tobacco, get that. Right. You can, the perfume comes through, but so does the smoke. I don't know. Yeah. I, I like this. Yeah, and I think it just goes perfect with a crisp, crisp clean white press shirt. Mm. You know, like a. Mm guy in a suit guy in, you know going to a meeting or something i think this is perfect for that like kind it. of event all right last but certainly not least this is Guerlain heritage which i just recently reviewed so go check out that review there you go i like this yeah it's different is there incense in this? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's churchy, especially in the base. Like it gets it. even more resinous and smoky. 
Yeah. Right now you're you're getting hit with that harsh. It's like this lemon and lavender opening, kind of like what you smelt in Jiki, the very first perfume. You know, mm-hmm. it takes a lot from um, lots of pieces from a lot of these other Guerlain. That's why it's called Heritage because like it this. takes from the heritage of the brand. Yeah, I like this. This has yeah. got a, a a temple smell to it. Absolutely, it's it is quite spiritual. Yeah, I mean, this would be probably one of the perfumes I would wear if I was to meditate. Okay, yeah, or want absolutely. more of like a calming kind of vibe. I know that this is overwhelming and harsh for some people, but for me, I don't know, it, it, it mellows me right out. Okay. I, I like this. It's got kind of this anise and that lavender makeup for, uh, you know, a very crisp shaving foam in the opening, you know. Yeah, it, it, I like it. Yeah. I like it, definitely. It's got some patchouli, so very textured in the base, green, brown, earthy patchouli. Very resinous and ambery, a, a nice vanilla. And it's got a really nice mm-hmm. tonka bean mm-hmm. for sweetness. Mm-hmm. You get that tonka? It does smell. Yeah, like nice, it. lots of I woods. I smell the vanilla in there for sure. Yeah. I like that one. All right. I've never smelled that before. Yeah, I don't know. Yes, no. I think that would be my favorite out really? of all of them. This yeah. is your absolute favorite? Yeah, it definitely you, I got to go back to our original video because you might have said that, you know, thinking about it now, that I think you like this. No, I, I don't think I've ever sp- had Because we did, you know, masculine Guerlain, and I, I remember you liking this, or at least I no, think so. No, I think it's the one you gave me, um, the incense ones that I have. Uh, I can't remember the name. From Guerlain? Blue Bottle, Gold Cap, no. No, that's Interlude. That's not a Guerlain. Interlude. But no, we did a gear long for Oh, okay, for gotcha. Men. Okay. Yeah. I have to go back, but I think you like this one as well remember. back yeah, then. Yeah, this this would be the one that I would choose for myself personally. Pose for the thumbnail. There you go. All right, thank you for coming on and, and giving us your your quick briefs. Really appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. I mean, I know I'm not as descriptive you, That's okay. You don't need to be. I like smelling these. These are interesting. Yeah, these are very classic. This is what perfume is about. This is very um, arty. You know, people think think you know why do you have this crazy passion or this hobby or you know this to me is a form of entertainment. It's no different than going to the wa- movie and watching a, an old film, reading a good book, uh, staring at a painting on the wall. You know, you can dissect these and and kind of watch what the perfumer was trying to do and 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 you know figure out what kind of materials he was using them and and how he put everything together so there is a lot of art behind this yeah for sure it's not just to smell and it's not just to get noticed or complimented but you know there's a a lot of work goes into these Mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of these are created from love so absolutely i think when you first uh kind of embarked on this journey i didn't understand the the but like the, the beauty behind it no not at all i just thought like you were kind of just obsessed with these perfumes and i didn't really see any depth to it i just saw it from like a superficial uh level. right right and then you know as i started ex- you know experimenting with essential oils and doing my own stuff you know i i started to realize that there's a lot of uh creativity and energy that goes behind creating these but like you said a story as well and that i think is what appeals to me the most out of all of it and uh, more than anything too of how they influence how we feel right so Absolutely. that's the that's to me is crazy i'm always every time i go to spray something that has incense in it i'm doing it with complete intention because i know what type of uh, you know, feelings and emotions it's going that to bring brings about. me to. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And so, like I said, if I want to, you know, more of a get shit done type of energy, you know, I'm I'm drawn to, you know, very particular perfumes versus if I wanted to be just in a very like calm meditative state, I I gravitate towards. Absolutely, there's towards a perfume for almost every mood, you know. Yeah. You know, if you want just something light and clean, you know, and you can wear a shiki, even mm-hmm. though it's it's dirty, but mm-hmm. to me it's it's fresh and clean. You yeah. know, it's got enough citrus and and lavender. Lavender to me is very calming. It when is, I meditate, definitely. I like to wear lavender and yeah. incense-based perfumes, yeah. but Absolutely. 
thank you so much for coming on and sharing your your thoughts with us. I really appreciate it as I imagine everybody else's. Drop a comment down below. Say hello to Maria. Um, we'll see you in the comments. Uh, like this video, share this video. Thank you so much for watching if you're still here and we'll see you all again very soon. Bye.